Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're gonna to be talking about a couple of different light strips and how they can enhance your environment. So stay tuned. Hey, what's going on guys? So this company, Govi, reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to test out a couple of their different light strips. So the light strips are Minger, they have an RGB solid color strip, and then they also have a new dream color one. Now, the cool thing about the dream color one is that these can have multiple colors on the same strip. So that's something that's new to me. I've never seen that before, so I'm really excited to test these guys out. And then over here we have the RGB solid strips. These are just one color for the whole strip, but you can choose between 16 million different colors. Another cool feature that these two lights have in common is that they have built-in microphones in the receivers here. So if you take a look at the controls that it has, there is a built-in mic in the side, so that way these lights will jump around when they hear anything from your voice to music. But you also have the option of turning that off if you want just a solid strip. So a few other features that these guys have in common is that they are waterproof. So you can put them outside, under a patio, in a garden, you can put them in an RV to add some ambient lights or maybe even take them camping. But just keep in mind that they have to be plugged in. Another cool thing is that these guys connect to Wi-Fi, so you can connect them to your Amazon Echo or your Google Home Assist. And this way you can set them up in scenes or routines and then even connect them through the app anywhere in the world. Echo, turn on the floor lights. Testing, testing. All right, so these are going off to the sound of my voice right now. Echo, turn on the dream lights. All right, so we've got these guys on and they are set to a solid color. Echo, set the floor lights to red. Echo, dim the dream lights to 20%. All right, so these guys dimmed down. So there's a lot of cool things that you can do with just using the home automation systems here. If you really wanna get creative with these guys and put them in spots that don't have power, I would recommend a power brick. So I use this power brick from WasherSign. I've been using it for a while now. Uh, I'll put a link to the video review that I did a few months back up here, and then I'll also put a link in the description. But this power brick also has a power outlet in it. So I can take these lights, plug it into here, and then stash it somewhere. So if I wanna put it, um, say on my fire table in the backyard, which doesn't have power anywhere near it, I can plug it in for just one evening to have just a cool atmosphere happening at the table without having to have wires strung all over the place. So that is one cool option that you can do with these lights. You can also put it on a bike if you wanna put them on your bicycle. I mean, this thing lets you go mobile anywhere. So I would definitely re recommend picking up one of these or at least checking it out if that's something you are interested in. All right, so inside the box you have the spool of lights. If we lift that up and look underneath, follow the cable down and we've got the controller. Also inside the box, we have the power cable that you're gonna plug this into, and then it comes with a bag of five clips. So if you wanna put this, say, behind the TV, clip it down or get it a little bit stronger, then you can have these clips to use for that. So I've used LED strips in the past, and typically they're really thin, and they've got exposed LEDs on them, nothing covered up like these. These guys are the waterproof ones. And um, I would say one of the biggest problems that I had with those is that they weren't very sticky. They would, they would stick for a little bit, maybe a, two weeks later, they started falling down. So you have to get scotch tape out and stick them up there and you know try to find other ways to get them to stick. And that's pretty common for light strips that are anywhere from in that, you know, say 15 to $25 range has been my experience. Now, when you kind of jump up to the next set of lights, like these guys are here, then you're getting, you're getting something that has plastic coating over the lights. So they're not just exposed lights and the, film on the back is very sticky and tacky. Now, I haven't had these for too long, but considering how sticky these are, I don't expect these to fall off at all. I'm really happy with the quality of the strip, which is why I'm making this video to tell you guys about it, but this is definitely a good quality product. One thing I also wanna mention is that with the Minger lights, these are their newest version, and these are ones that do connect to the Amazons and the Google devices. The older version, so if you are searching around on Amazon and you see something that looks very similar to this, but it's, you know, five, ten dollars cheaper, keep in mind that the cheaper ones are Bluetooth only. So you can only control them if you are next to the devices. They would connect to your phone through Bluetooth and not through Wi-Fi. So keep in mind that these more expensive ones are the ones that are Wi-Fi and they're ones that are gonna be able to connect to your devices 
and then that way you can control them when you're outside the house. As always, I will have links in the description below so you can check those out. All right, so we're gonna go through the app here. You're gonna go look up Govi Home. That is the app, so we're gonna open it up. Let's back up to the beginning here. So setup is really easy. You're gonna create an account on here because you wanna be able to have Alexa and the Google Home Mini connect to it. So you're gonna create your account, log in, then you're gonna connect your devices. All right, so after you've connected, you are going to have the lights here. You'll name your lights, whatever you want to name them. And then um, you can go ahead and select the lights here. So we're connecting to these lights right here. They are off, we're gonna go ahead and turn them on. And from here, you've got your different options. So you got a timer for how long you want them on for, brightness controls, we got your different modes. So this is what you would set. So we've got music, um, in here we've got the energetic, rhythm, spectrum, rolling. So for rolling and spectrum, you actually have to pick a single color, which I'm not a big fan of, but for rhythm and energetic, energetic's my favorite, um, those uh, jump through a bunch of different colors. So those are pretty good ones right there. Color, you can pick your colors there. You got the slider bar to pick your 16 million different colors. And then we also have the white balance here. So you can go uh, warm all the way to really cold by choosing the different white balances here. Scenes, um, here are the different scenes that we have. I'm not gonna go through those in this video, but there are other videos out there that do go through the scenes if you guys wanna check those out. Um, DIY mode was kind of interesting. So you set these up however you want them to be. You can go through here and like I've set this one up for party. Um, you name it, you select the different colors that you want it to be, and then you select the style. So fade, jump, flicker, marquee, music, different combos. So you've got all those different options there. And then within each one of those styles, they're going to have different modes in those two and then you'll click apply to apply those modes so the app is pretty straightforward easy to use which really helps make this a good product all right now that i showed you guys the app let's put these in their spots and i'll give you guys a demo of what they look like so i thought a cool place to put these lights would be under the bed give it a nice ambiance feel i set the regular rgb lights under there just put them on the floor just to kind of see what it would look like my wife is not that thrilled with it she said get rid of them that's not the place to put them so then i put them in the bathroom and i put it underneath the cabinets there and <laughs> For the first time ever in the two years that I have had a smart home, my wife has never liked anything that I have installed in this home. If anything, she hates most of it. But for the first time ever, she said, that's really cool, I like that. So that is their permanent spot. These are going back in the bathroom underneath the cabinets. All right, I wanted to demo for you guys connecting the lights to my table that's outside here. So we put the lights all around. I took that power bank. We're gonna plug the lights in to it, as you can see right back there on the table, and I'll show you guys what it looks like out here. Another idea too is that you can put it up along. I've got like a seat wall back here, a rock wall. You could um, lay it underneath that as well, but let's take a look at what this looks like outside. So many lights, lights, lights. Look into my 